सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा नैष्कर्म्य सिद्धि चैप्टर थ्री पेज नाइंटी एट इंट्रोडक्शन टू टेन्थ वर्स टॉप लाइन देर इज अ स्मॉल करेक्शन इन दैट सेकेंड लाइन सामर्थ्योक्ति इट शुड बी इट इज अपियरिंग एस सामर्थ्य सामर्थ्योति अवाख्यावाख्यावसीयत चेतत्तिपत्थम विशेषण विशेषयो सामर्थ्योक्ति सुरेशाचार्य refuting the vachaspati mishra matam ekadeshi purva pakshi who is emphasizing the nididhyasanam or meditation after shravanam as compulsory sadhana to get aparoksha gnana महावाक्य श्रवण गिव्स ओनली परोक्ष ज्ञान इट कैनाट गिव डायरेक्ट नॉलेज अपरोक्ष ज्ञान देर फोर वन हेज टू डू समाधि अभ्यास मेडिटेशन इन दैट एलोन वन कैन गेट लिबरेटिंग नॉलेज Sureshwaracharya says, however much meditation you recommend, you can practice as a sadhana for the refinement of the mind, not for knowledge. Knowledge never take place either in samadhi abhyasa rupa nididhyasana or any other meditation also knowledge can never take place because non meditation is not given in any pramanam as a pramanam for knowledge meditation sadhana is never said anywhere through shravanam only mahavakya shravanam dwara eva gnanam prapnoti for that uh, he is uh, using the mahavakya three stages how mahavakya is presented in three stages first one is samanadhikaranyam first stage of mahavakya is samanadhikaranya sambandha by this method one can present the mahavakya then second stage of mahavakya is visheshana visheshya bhavah visheshana visheshya bhav sambandah is the second stage of mahavakya then the third stage of mahavakya is lakshya lakshana sambandah or lakshya lakshana sambandha is the third stage of mahavakya so the first stage we saw in the previous ninth verse samanadhikaranyam in the ninth verse he has already explained samanadhikaranyam the definition of samanadhikaranyam we saw long ago once again i will remind that what is samanadhikaranyam bhinna pravritti nimittanam padanam 
సమాన విభక్తి సమాన అధికరణం సామానాధికరణ్యం ఇది ఉచ్యతే భిన్న ప్రవృత్తి నిమిత్తం పదాం సమాన విభక్ సమాన విభక్తి సమాన అధికరణం సామానాధికరణ్యం ఇది ఉచ్యతే వాట్ ఇట్ మీన్స్ హ్యావింగ్ ద స్టేటస్ ఆఫ్ కామన్ లోకస్ తత్పద అండ్ త్వంపద బోత్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ హ్యావ్ ద సేమ్ లోకస్ కామన్ లోకస్ దట్ ఈస్ ద ఐడియా ఆఫ్ సామానాధికరణ్యం అండ్ ఇన్ అదర్ బుక్స్ ఆల్సో విస్ ఆ ప్రీవియస్లీ సమానాధికరణ ద రిలేషన్షిప్ బిట్వీన్ టూ వర్డ్స్ పదయో సామానాధికరణ్యం బిట్వీన్ ద రిలేషన్షిప్ బిట్వీన్ టూ వర్డ్స్ ఈజ్ కాల్డ్ సామానాధికరణ్యం విశేషణ విశేష్య మీన్స్ ద రిలేషన్షిప్ బిట్వీన్ ద వర్డ్ మీనింగ్ ఈజ్ కాల్డ్ విశేషణ విశేష్య సంబంధ ద రిలేషన్షిప్ అప్టైనింగ్ బిట్వీన్ ద సబ్స్టెన్స్ అండ్ ద అడ్జెక్టివ్ within the meaning of the words uh, with the meaning of the words in the form of adjective and noun so every sentence has got a noun and adjective what is the relationship between the adjective and noun visheshana visheshya sambandha or attribute and substance between attribute and substance relation is called visheshana visheshya sambandha noun adjective relationship <laughs> you know all this uh, substance attribute relationship between um, the uh, two words two meanings of the words not two words meanings of the words lotus uh, lily or oh, sorry white lily red horse శ్వేత అశ్వ ఆల్ దిస్ యు నో సో ద బ్లూనెస్ ఆర్ వైట్నెస్ దేర్ ఆల్ ఎడ్జెక్టివ్స్ హార్స్ దే ఆర్ ఆల్ కాల్ నౌన్ లిల్లి ఫ్లవర్ ఎక్సెట్రా నౌ హ్యావింగ్ సెట్ దిస్ మచ్ ఈస్ గివింగ్ హియర్ విశేషణ విశేష్య సంబంధ అలాబరేట్లీ నౌ కుత i introduced this upodhatha in the last class <coughs> kutaha avakyarthah avasiyate iti ched now sureshwara chari himself introducing the question if a pura pakshi ask what kutaha how is avakyarthah vakyartha means sentence vakya means sentence meaning um, avakyartha means non sentential meaning non sentential meaning means english lo a technical name attributeless uh, uh, consciousness attributeless consciousness how you arrive at through the words which are having lot of attributes for that prapanna parijataya we have given in the previous samanadhikaranya vishnu sahasranama one noun has got many um, uh, names um, vishnu vishnu vashatkaro bhuta bhavya prabhat bhavat prabhu so all vishnu sahasranamas referring to one vishnu so many names Uh, referring to many adjectives referring to one vishnu prapanna parijataya also so are many names many adjectives like that um, it is possible here how he is asking what he said in the last class i said many words reveal only savisesham not nirvisesham brahma many words have many attributes many attributes means uh, savisesham so savisesham brahma only you can reveal 
not that attributeless uh, Brahman or consciousness. Suppose you ask like that, Sureshwaracharya saying, Iti Ched, if you have such a doubt, what doubt, how a non-sentential meaning is uh, arrived, uh, non-sentential meaning or attributeless consciousness you arrive, it is possible, Ched. Iti Pratipatyartham, to clarify this, to give the knowledge about this uh, attributeless consciousness, how it can be revealed through Mahavakya, Pratipatyartham, to give the description, Viseshana Viseshayoho Samarthya Uktihi. There is a, a description of uh, the function of Viseshana and Viseshya. There is a description of the function of the Viseshana Viseshya, which is the second stage of Mahavakya. That is uh, going to be clarified, that is going to be elaborated in the tenth verse. Second stage of Mahavakya. I will read this shloka up to here. We saw in the last class. Nirdukhitvam tvamarthasya tadarthena viseshanat pratyaktacha tadarthasya tvampadena asya sannidhehi Now here in this Jeevatma, Paramatma, both are changing, they are interchanging the statuses. So if Paramatma takes the status of Jeevatma, Jeevatma takes the status of Paramatma in this um, second stage of Mahavakya second stage of Mahavakya, how it is uh, taken, he says, Viseshana Viseshya. Samarthya means function, that function of that uh, non-sentential, attributeless consciousness is revealed. Viseshana Bhava Sammandha Jeevatma status is um, given to Paramatma. Jivatma status is given to Paramatma, Paramatma status is given to Jivatma. Paramatma status is given to Jivatma. Then, when Jivatma status is given to Paramatma, Jivatma becomes the Viseshanam. When Jeevatma status is given to Paramatma, Jeevatma becomes the uh, Visheshanam and Paramatma is Visheshyam. This is the stage number one, point number one in Visheshana Visheshya. So then second one, Je when Jeevatma becomes uh, Visheshanam, Paramatma becomes Visheshyam. This is one way of changing. And when Paramatma status is given to Jivatma, Jivatma, Paramatma becomes the Viseshanam, Jivatma becomes Viseshyam. Viseshyam means noun, Viseshanam means attribute. So mutual statuses are exchanged. That is uh, Viseshana Viseshya Sambandha. Mutual statuses are exchanged between whom? Jeevatma and Paramatma. Some of the attributes uh, have to be knocked off. <laughs> when Jeevatma approaching Paramatma, first, then Paramatma approaching Jeevatma. Uh, that time we have to knock off certain attributes. 
what are those attributes you have to knock off uh, that is given in this 10th uh, verse tatpada suppose paramatma tatpada is approaching the tompada the jivatma first tatpada the paramatma approaching the jivatma tompada hmm? tatpada the paramatma approaching jivatma means what jivatma dukkhitam has to be knocked off paramatma ananda swarupam anandatvam he is uh, uh, given to the jivatma anando brahmi divya janat ananda dheva khalvima nibhuta nijayante anande na jata nijivanti yat prayanti abhisambishanti so anandam brahma nasin in bhrugavalli because paramatma is ananda swarupah when tatpada refers to paramatma that paramatma when approaches to jivatma paramatma anand uh, attribute is given to jivatma that is the vishesha of uh, paramatma uh, come to jivatma jivatma samsaritvam dukkhitvam or removed that is the essential nature of brahman ananda is the essential nature of brahman that is presented as nirdukkhitvam dukkha rahitatvam nirdukkhitvam nirgata from whom the dukkha has gone paramatma is one who is free from dukkham that status dukkh nirdukkhitvam sarolessness sarolessness dukkha uh, must be transferred then jivatma has to transfer dukkha to whom not to paramatma jivatma has to transfer the dukkha to either stola shariram or sukshma shariram anatma he has to transfer in binary format so i the consciousness am witnesser of the dukkha of the body dukkha of the mind so dukkha the saro of jivatma is transferred to the body mind complex jivatma recognize that i am ananda swarupah because tatpada approaching the uh, tatpada paramatma is approaching the uh, jivatma now take approaching in uh, all literally just like that put in inverted commas therefore brahma pucham pratishthana so the because of the qualification of jivatma with paramatma so when jivatma qualified qualif paramatma qualifies the jivatma as ananda swarupah jivatma has given his dukkham to body mind complex anatma because of that provision provided by the word uh, tatpada tatpada word provided the ananda uh, status to jivatma because of that paramatma association with jivatma so this is called occurring in what where mahavakya tatvam asi udalaka said to svetaketu o svetaketu that you are that you are uh, that you are how simple that word is mahavakya but uh, what a depth is there years together we are studying <coughs> this mahavakya hmm? occurring in that mahavakya samanadhikaranyam vitvam pada paramatma bikam visheshyam jivatma status bikam visheshanam <coughs> then in the second same way jivatma becomes the adjective of paramatma jivatma becomes the adjective of paramatma by joining the jivatma status 
from Paramatma, the remoteness of Paramatma will go away. Hmm? Paramatma, the attribute has to be knocked off. What is that uh, Paroksham? Paramatma also has got uh, um, unwanted attributes, means Paroksham Tat refers to Parokshe Tat. Uh, that attributes uh, is uh, Jivatma Samsa, Jivatma approach to Paramatma means Jivatma Samsa Ritma has to be knocked off. When Paramatma approach means uh, Paramatma Paroksham, that means remoteness is also knocked off. So remoteness of Paramatma knocked off, Samsaritvam of Jivatma is knocked off. See both the sides you have to knock off, delete. Okay, delete word is used, we can use because of computer language. So Paramatma unwanted thing is what remoteness. Jivatma samsaritvam. Paramatma la anandam you have to take. Jivatma pratyaktvam, self-awareness. That attribute as Paramatma is remote object. Tat means far away. That, that itself denotes a distant, remote thing. But not remote, proximate. Proximate, remote object and to be uh, reached it, uh, that remoteness has to be deleted. So remoteness is one unwanted state, status, objectness. Once you say remote, that means it becomes object. Objectness of that Paramatma also unwanted status is removed. So these two statuses given to Paramatma because of ignorance. Paramatma is up above somewhere. This uh, type of uh, um, status we give to Paramatma because of ignorance. Not only that, Paramatma is different from me as an object. That objectness, remoteness of Paramatma has to be ruled out or knocked off. Then what I have to say, I am Paramatma. I am Paramatma, Anandaha, I am Muktaha, I have to say. That's a Jivatma status attribute join with Paramatma. Jivatma status is what? Pratyaktvam, that is uh, uh, given the second line, pratyakta, inwardness, inwardness, attribute of jivatma is inwardness, kaschid dhiraha pratyagatmana maikshat avritta chakshur amrutatva michan, like that, uh, we saw the remoteness of paramatma is removed and um, objectness, uh, samsaritvam of jivatma is also removed. Asamsari. Now Jiva is Asamsari. So non-remote Asamsari is left behind. Non-remote means proximate. Asamsari means free from Janana Marana Samsara is left behind. So nothing is like a space. Uh, best, best example is a space you take uh, when you say empty space a space that which from which all the things are uh, removed empty hall you say empty hall what it means the hall the space uh, the hall space is that empty hall space is that from which all things are removed. That is why empty hall, empty space you say. Empty space is also, uh, what you are watching, I am seeing empty space. Empty space you are seeing, that means Bhava Padartha. Space is Bhava Padartha. Bhava Padartha means it is an existent entity. Otherwise how can you see empty space? Can space has got uh, a form? Does it have a form? 
No, it doesn't have a form. Then how can you see? How can you see? Without thinking, we talk. <laughs> but we say, hey, hall is empty. Space is empty. As though you have seen the space. Thiriyadhe kannaki swami nene. Yappadu thiriyadhe? Object is not there, only you are knowing. Non-object, and object-free space, you are telling space is empty. I know there is an empty space. How do you know space is empty? Uh, uh, absence of objects, the knowledge of the absence of objects, you are presenting as I see empty space. <laughs> These are all jugglery of words. Okay, Very interesting. I like this presentation. Just now it has come to my mind. Uh, this is Drishtanta. I am going to take you to Darshtanta later. Uh, uh, it is very, very subtle um, to understand. Space is also subtle. Space you cannot see. Amurta Dravyam it is. Amurta Dravyam it is formless. Uh, uh, I saw empty space. Empty space. A space is formless. How can you see empty space? Actually what you are seeing is objects are not there. Chair is not there. Table is not there in that hall. Book is not there. Bed is not there. Cot is not there. You are seeing the absence of things in the hall. But uh, you are telling what? I am uh, seeing the empty space. Hall is empty. Before Grahapravesam, you go and see the whole house is empty. Uh, not seeing the objects in the hall, you are um, transferring to the perception of the space. Space you cannot perceive, it is formless, like that. Like that here also, Atma, attributeless Atma, uh, they are objects in the hall. Space is subtle, formless. Here also, Atma Chaitanyam, consciousness is subtle, formless. You can understand the existence of consciousness from which all attributes are deleted, removed. What are attributes removed? removed na? Samsaritvam removed. Samsaritvam removed and uh, from Paramatma, objectness removed. From uh, Jiva, Dukhitvam, sorrow is removed. Sorrow is removed. So unwanted attributes are removed. Attributeless Brahman, we know, means what? Swarupa Ananda. It is not an attribute. It is the Swarupam of uh, Atma. So Jiva Atma is here as self-awareness. That is what word used. Pratyakta. Nirdukhitam. Now look into the shloka. Tvamarthasya Nirdukhitvam. So Tvampada. The Jiva Atma. Tvamarthasya means Jiva Atma meaning if you take so that saru samsaritvam you delete nirdukhitvam paramatma approached uh, jivatma because jivatma alone is paramatma paramatma alone is jivatma one more thing the jivatma eva paramatma paramatma eva jivatma that way we present so last time i was talking about the equation number uh, equation is that Suppose we say 7 plus 7, uh, 7 is equal to 7. It difference is not there, some similarity is evident. When equation works, Mahavakya is an equation. Tatu Tvam Asi is an equation. Mahavakya is an equation. Tatu one side, Tvam another side. You are that is the equation. Before going to that equation, if you see the number, when equation is useful, 
when it works, when it functions. When it does not function, equation 7, 6 is equal to 6, it is not an equation because it is a visibly number is, there is no difference. 6 is equal to 6, there is no difference. Both are the same only. There is no, there is no necessity of uh, equation there. There is no necessity of equation in that uh, um, where, in that number. Sorry. <laughs> necessity of equation is uh, not required. Then, if you say um, another number. Um, 8 plus 5, suppose, 8 plus 5. So, evidently different. Sorry, 8 is equal to 5, not plus. 7 plus, uh, 7 is equal to 7, evidently same, very evident, evidently same, no difference. 8 is equal to 5, evidently different. How 8 can be 5? It cannot be. So, evidently different. This is called evidently different. So, the both cannot be equation. Both cannot come under equation. Then where equation will work? Na, where, um, suppose I say 5 plus 4 is equal to 10 minus 1. 5 plus 4 is equal to 10 minus 1. Now, in this uh, uh, 5 plus 4 is visible, 10 minus 1 is visible, both are visible, but what is not invisible? 5 plus 4 is equal to 10 minus 1, one number is not uh, visible, 5 plus 4 is equal to 10 minus 1, the number is what? 9 the number is not visible. It is invisible. So, the invisible 9 is to be grasped. It is not visible. It is not there. To understand this 9 number, uh, uh, incidental attributes of uh, all uh, invisible number. So, 5 plus uh, 4 is equal to 9 minus 1. 5, 4, 9, um, sorry, 10 and 1, all are incidental attributes of 9. Incidental attributes of 9. To arrive at 9, you are giving the equation 5 plus 4 is equal to 10 minus 1. So, 9 is the uh, destination to understand. 9 is our ultimate uh, reality, Navaratna, <laughs> like 9 is Navaratna. Navagrahas or Navaratna. So, therefore, now you have to delete what are all you have to delete visible numbers. After arriving at 9, you have to uh, 5 has gone, 4 has gone, uh, plus has gone, is equal to has gone, then 10 has gone, uh, minus has gone, 1 has gone. All of them have gone. What you have understood uh, which is invisible? Uh, not said also, not written also, but it is understood. 5 plus 4 is equal to 9 minus 1. That invisible 9 you grasp. It is the number to be discerned by you. This is uh, called Nirgunam Brahma. <laughs> 9 number like Nirgunam Brahma. Uh, Jeevatma, Paramatma, hmm, this side 5 plus 4 uh, is equal to 9 minus 1, Jeevatma, Paramatma, attributes are all are knocked off. What is knocked off? Na? Atma remains. So, okay, don't knock off. Na? Don't throw the baby with bath water. Hmm. So, pure Akasha means what? Empty Akasha means what? All objects free Akasha. Like that here also. Here also space is uh, 
very good, very the best example. Hmm? Like that in Vedanta also, nothingness means, nothingness means the ultimate reality, pure existence, attributeless existence, Atma, which is free from Jivatvam Paramatma. Paramatvam, Parama, Jiva, you delete. That two, two are attributes from Jiva side and Paramatma side. So, this is the tricky sloka. Uh, um, once again, I will give the gist of this sloka. Nirdukhitvam tamardhasya tadarthena viseshanad. So, tadartha means Paramatma status. Paramatma say status Viseshanat because that is the uh, status of Atma Paramatma Ananda that is the Viseshanam um, that is the Viseshanam when Paramatma becomes Visesham Jivatma becomes Viseshanam so in Tat uh, Pratyakta Che Tadat Chasya. Tadartha means Paramatma. Again, Paramatma is removed. Tvampadena asya sannidhe. When with Tvampada, Paramatma approaches Jivatma, Tvampadena sannidhe, proximity takes place. Pratyakta. Pratyakta means very, very near, Pratyakta. Mm, Kasthi dhira Pratyagatmana Maikshat, that word. Inwardness, uh, Pratyakta Bhavati, Bhavati to be supplied. So, Paramatma becomes me, uh, the remoteness, Paramatma is removed, Pratyakta Bhavati. Tatpadena asya sannidhehe, tvamarthasya sannidhehe. Tvamarthasya, tadarthasya, tvampadena asya sannidhehe. Tvampada means jivatma, tatpada means paramatma. So, anmaya, how you have to do? Tvamarthasya, nirdhukkitvam, tadarthena viseshanat, tadarthasya, Tvampadena asya sannidhehe pratyakta bhavati. So, samsaritvam of jivatma goes away, dukkha of jivatma goes away, removed, removed all intellectually. Uh, these are all removed. So, karanam is invisible, karyam is visible. Karanam is remote. Tat Paramatma is the Karanam, Jagat Karanam is the remote. Karyam is proximate. Karyam is what? The world, the, in the world, the body, mind, complex. So Jivatma is present, Paramatma is not present. Karanam, status of Paramatma, uh, refers to remoteness. So that Karanam <coughs> and uh, Remoteness, proximity, karyam, both of them are joined together now. Therefore, that awareness, consciousness, awareness, I am. That Paramatma is myself. That Paramatma myself means that Paramatma, <coughs> Anandatvam, and remoteness is deleted. I am Ananda Swarupaha. I am self-awareness, Atma Swarupam, Jeevatma Eva, Paramatma means Jeevatma Dukkham is removed, Paramatma Ananda is taken for Jeevatma and uh, Paramatma um, remoteness is removed, Jeevatma's proximity is given to Paramatma. Okay. Paramatma Ananda is given to, suppose you take Viseshanam, Ananda is a Viseshanam of Paramatma, is given to Jivatma. 
Jeevatma proximity, self-awareness is given to Paramatma. So what finally? I am Paramatma. I am not a Jeevatma. I am Atma. I am Atma Brahma. I am Atma Brahma. So that is the idea. It's a complicated slokam. Okay. We have to uh, understand. Sannidhi means proximate. Okay. Sannidhi of what? Tvampadaina. Asya Tvampadasya. So Sannidhi he pratyakta cha bhavati. Inwardness. So next, what left out? Samanadhi karanyam is over. And uh, uh, Visheshana Visheshya Sambandha also over. Now he is going to take um, Lakshya Lakshana Sambandha, the third stage of Mahavakya. Third stage of Mahavakya is given in uh, 11th Shloka, the introduction I will read. Asya tat, tat padasya. Right. So here, um, sannidhi means proximate. Proximity is the qualification. Proximity is the qualification. Ananda is the qualification. So these are all. Um, you require drishyate to agriya, buddhya, sukshmaya, sukshma darshibi. Hmm? Certain. That's why equality mind, a calm, composed mind is required for Shastra assimilation, understanding. We'll try, slowly trying only, these are all trying, trying, trying. Uktam samana dhikaranyam viseshana viseshya bhavascha samkshepataha atha laksha lakshana Vyakshanaya aha. Already these uh, three Samana Dhikarinyam Viseshana Viseshya Sambandha Bhava and uh, Lakshya Lakshana given in third sloka in the beginning. Now, how Paramatma qualifies Jivatma? Jivatma qualifies Paramatma. That question is raised, suppose, by Purapakshi, in this 10th uh, verse, what we said finally, Jeevatma becomes Paramatma, Paramatma becomes Jeevatma, becomes means what? Both are uh, interchanged, Viseshana, Visesha, Jeevatma become Viseshana to Paramatma, Paramatma become Visesha. Or Paramatma also, Paramatma become uh, uh, Visheshanam to Jeevatma, Jeevatma become Visheshyam. So both of them are Visheshyam, both of them are Visheshanam. Like that. With that uh, shloka it is over. Now another question, this qualifying each other, Paramatma qualifying Jeevatma, Jeevatma qualifying Paramatma. Paramatma qualifies Jeevatma as Nirdukhitva. You are Ananda Swarupam, you don't have Dukkham. Hmm? Paramatma qualified the Jeevatma. Jeevatma qualified Paramatma, oh Paramatma, you are not far away, you are not remote, you are myself, approximate, hmm? as self-awareness, Atma Swarupam. These are qualifying each other. How is it possible? Uktam Samana Dhikaranyam. So Samana Dhikaranyam and Viseshana Viseshya Bhava Sambandha said, Uktam, where 9th and 10th sloka, above slokas. So they already clarified elaborately. Sankshepataha only he says, elaborately we saw in previous classes also. Yeah, how many times you see, every time it is new like. <laughs> Viseshana Viseshya Bhavascha, second stage of Mahavakya. Sankshepataha Uktam. Briefly, it is uh, mentioned. Atha. Atha. Now, hereafter, what is left out? Uh, 
सेक थर्ड स्टेज ऑफ महावाक्य लक्ष्य लक्षण व्याख्यानाय लक्ष्य लक्षण भाव प्राइमरी मीनिंग एंड सेकेंडरी मीनिंग प्राइमरी मीनिंग ऑफ व्हाट एंड व्हाट प्राइमरी मीनिंग ऑफ व्हाट एंड सेकेंडरी मीनिंग ऑफ व्हाट प्राइमरी मीनिंग ऑफ तोमपद सेकेंडरी मीनिंग ऑफ तोमपद प्राइमरी मीनिंग ऑफ तत्पद सेकेंडरी मीनिंग ऑफ तोमपद हाँ तत् तम आई थिंक यू अंडरस्टैंड तत् मीन्स दट परमात्मा तम युदि जीवात्मा ओके सो वाच्यार्थ प्राइमरी मीनिंग ऑफ जीवात्मा सेकेंडरी मीनिंग ऑफ जीवात्मा इन संस्कृत वर्ट वी से वाच्यार्थ एंड लक्ष्यार्थ प्राइमरी मीनिंग इज कॉल्ड वाच्यार्थ सेकेंडरी मीनिंग इज कॉल्ड लक्ष्यार्थ so primary meaning is called immediate meaning what comes immediate meaning suppose i say i am i am what is immediate meaning body mind complex my name my color complexion all those will come immediate meaning is called lower i what's your thing is lower i ahankara body mind complex wife husband these are all immediate meaning i but uh, that is called uh, visible <laughs> visible hmm? immediate meaning of tvampada and tatpada you can say like this also immediate meaning of tatpada and tvampada immediate meaning and vachartha <coughs> vachartha of jivatma and vachartha of paramatma vachartha of jivatma is called alpagnya alpavyapi samsari dukhi <laughs> Sukhi, Ragi, all these are Vacharta of Jeevatma. Sallanama, adi nanna teriyo namakku. Vacharta of Paramatma is what? Sarvagnyaha, Sarvavyapi, Omniscient, Omnipotent, Sakala Kalyana, Guna Ganaika Nilayaha. Vacharta, immediate meaning of Paramatma. But, what is our aim here? Lakshya Lakshana, व्याख्यानो या लक्ष्य लक्षण व्याख्यान मीन्स वाट देर लक्षण लक्ष्य ते मीन्स दट हुच इंडिकेटर इंडिकेटेड इंडिकेटर इंडिकेटेड लक्ष्य लक्षण दट इन थ्रू इंडिकेटर समथिंग इज इंडिकेटेड लक्षण द्वारा लक्ष्य ते इंडिकेटेड समथिंग इज इंडिकेटेड बाय सम इंडिकेटर गुणा लक्षण लाइक दैट सेकेंडरी इज कॉल्ड लक्ष्यार्था लक्ष्यार्था इंप्लाइड मीनिंग ऑफ तम्पदा इंप्लाइड मीनिंग ऑफ तत्पदा इधर लव उनको तेरी हो आना ले जस्ट रिवाइजिंग इन बिटवीन अस ओके यू आर ऑल एक्सपर्ट्स इन दिस just we are uh, um, uh, recollecting the same subject uh, if i say somba dry a irka swami nanna konja example solren sonna example da munnadi today there is a music program by lal gudi shammang gudi shammang gudi and kare kudi anna there is a music program today by uh, the, um, by लाल गुड़ी, शम्मंग गुड़ी एंड कारे गुड़ी। ये ना लाल गुड़ी इसे प्लेस। हाँ, शम्मंग गुड़ी इसे अनदर प्लेस नहीं है मंजक गुड़ी। ओके, देन कारे गुड़ी इसे आल्सो अनदर प्लेस। हाउ दिस प्लेसेस कैन हैव ए म्यूजिक प्रोग्राम ना। इमीडिएट मीनिंग, हाँ, प्राइमरी मीनिंग। Immediate meaning when it is does not gel, you have to go to what secondary meaning. Primary meaning of Lal Gudi is a place. Primary meaning of Shammang Gudi is a place, is a village. All three are villages. Karhe Gudi is also a village. There is a music program by Lal Gudi, Shammang Gudi, and Karhe Gudi. Anna Nardam. Implied meaning you have to go Lakshartha. 
because the players cannot give concert program music program abba ipoda light a irukka swami ni subject anna idu upanishad class lo sonna same example da archana maave arikkiradanna idu da enna abhyas anadhu oru oru tatpariya lingam that's why we are repeatedly saying the same thing implied meaning we have to go lal gudi jayaraman violinist ಶಮ್ಮಂಗುಡಿ ದ ವೋಕಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ ಅಯ್ಯಂಗಾರ್ ಶಮ್ಮಂಗುಡಿ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ ಅಯ್ಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ ಅಯ್ಯರ್ ವೋಕಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾರೈಕುಡಿ ಮಣಿ ಮೃದಂಗಿಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದೇರ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ದೋಸ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಯೂಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಜಯರಾಮನ್ ವಯಲನಿಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ ಅಯ್ಯರ್ ವೋಕಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾರ್ಯಕುಡಿ ಮಣಿ ಮೃದಂಗಿಸ್ಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಕಾನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ಟುಡೇ ಓಕೆ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯಾರ್ಥ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯಾರ್ಥ ಬಟ್ ಆ್ಯವ್ ಎ ಸೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೆಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯಾರ್ಥ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಹಿಡನ್ ಇನ್ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ what is visible vachartha is visible vachartha is jahati <laughs> you have to give up hmm? jahati lakshana what you should not give up and you should not give up the person uh, you give up the place meaning you give up take the person person you take and you apply jahati lakshana ajahal lakshana means what you should not give up ಪರ್ಸನ್ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಬೋಧಕಂ ನಾವು ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ನಾವು ಸ್ವಯಂ ದೇವದತ್ತ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ ಯು ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಬೋಧಕಂ ನಮ್ಮ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ವೀಕ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಮರಂದಿಟ್ಟವ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಸೊಲ್ಲ ಕೂಡ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಮರಂದಿಡುವ ನೈಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ ನೈನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಒಂದು ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆದ ಜ್ಞಾಪಕ ಇರ್ಕೊಂಡ ಕನಿಷ್ಠ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಬೋಧಕನ್ನ ಜಯರಾಮನ್ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಓಕೆ ಮಣಿ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಶಂ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ ಅಯ್ಯರ್ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಇನ್ನ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಅಪ್ ಲಾಲ್ ಗುಡಿ ಕಾರೆಕ್ಕುಡಿ ಶಂಬಂಗುಡಿ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಅಪ್ ಓಕೆ ಅದ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯಂ ಅನ್ನ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯಂ ಸೊ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಥ್ರೋ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಬಟ್ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷ ಈಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಹಿ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲೀವ್ ಯು ಯು ಆರ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಅಗೇನ್ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಸಂಗ ವೆನ್ ಅಸಂಗಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ Um, how can Brahman can have this Sambandha? That's the objection again. So, Vyakhyanaya, visible Vachyartha, invisible Lakshyartha. Lakshyartha means implied meaning. Vachyartha means direct meaning. Or we can say this way also. Direct meaning is the primary meaning. Indirect meaning is the secondary meaning. okay so secondary meaning um, and primary meaning um, now the shloka i will read so lakshya lakshana vyakhyanaya to talk about the lakshya lakshana sambandha ah jeevatma and paramatma primary meaning and secondary meaning i am going to explain in this shloka kutastha bodha pratyaktvam animittam sadatmanah bodhrutaham tayo hetuhu tabhyam te no palakshyate sambandha is not a sambandha we are going to establish that primary meaning this much you have explained clearly still how can um, a thing which has no connection with anything can reveal the lakshartha of jeevatma and lakshartha of paramatma suppose a person asks for that answer is given hmm? uh, lakshartha 
ऑफ परमात्मा यू नो असंग आत्मा असंगोहम असंगोहम अयम पुरुष सो हियर्स पंचदशी वी सा दिस फर्स्ट चैप्टर लक्षार्थ ऑफ महावाक्य टू गिव दैट आंसर ऑफ लक्ष्य लक्षण संबंध इज मेनी प्लेसेस इट कम्स असंग चैतन्यम द क्वेश्चन इज असंग चैतन्यम मीन्स रिलेशनलेस ब्रह्मन आर रिलेशनलेस कॉन्शियसनेस आर आत्मा हाउ कैन यू टॉक अबाउट लक्ष्य लक्षण संबंध परमात्म लक्ष्यार्थ ईदर यू टेक जीवात्मा वाच्यार्थ आर परमात्म वाच्यार्थ अगेन संबंध यू हैव टू टॉक परमात्मा इज असंग असंग चैतन्य जीवात्मा जीवात्म संबंध वर्ड यू आर यूजिंग दट संबंध वर्ड ईज हिज कैचिंग बिकॉज ऑफ लक्ष्य लक्षण संबंध ब्रह्मन विल बिकम स संग संबंध मीन्स संबंध द्विकोटि ऑलवेज संबंध मीन्स रिलेशनशिप रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन देर मस्ट बी मिनिमम टू थिंग्स वन एंटिटी कैन नाट हैव ए संबंध सो संबंध द्विकोटि हाउ कैन यू से संबंध हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल नौ सुरेश्वराचार्य आंसर ब्रह्मन इज द अधिष्ठान ब्रह्मन इज द अधिष्ठान देर ईज रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन ब्रह्मन द अधिष्ठान एंड सगुण जीवात्मा देर इज ए रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन ब्रह्मन द अधिष्ठान एंड सगुण जीवात्मा एंड सगुण परमात्मा सगुण परमात्मा एंड सगुण जीवात्मा देर ईज ए संबंध इन संबंध उम्मीद संबंध निर्गुण ब्रह्म इज द संबंध असंग ब्रह्म ईज द आत्मा ईज द संबंध बिटवीन दम विच इज नाट ए संबंध बिका दे आर् नाट टू द टू ऐज लांग ऐज यू होल टू दैट एट्रिब्यूट्स जीव एंड परम एट्रिब्यूट्स विशेषण वन यू रिमूव जीव एंड परम आर देर टू आत्मा देर आर् नो टू आत्मा देर आर् नो टू ब्रह्मस् ओके ओनली वन ब्रह्म निर्गुण ब्रह्म दट ईज वै देर ईज ए रिलेशनशिप वि यूज द रिलेशनशिप वर्ड अंटिल वी अरइव एट दट निर्गुण ब्रह्म एक आत्मा ब्रह्म अधिष्ठान of the saguna jeevatma brahman is the adhisthanam of saguna jeevatma and paramatma paramatma is used as nirgunam brahma saguna jeevatma adhisthanam is substratum is brahman therefore there is no problem we have no problem the meaning exact meaning we'll see in the next class पूर्णमदूर्णमीद पूर्णा पूर्ण मुद्चते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्यते ओ शाति 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 हरि ओ श्रीगुरभ्यो नम हरि ओम